welcome ladies and gentlemen. We're a little late getting our stream started tonight. I got sidetracked, sorry about that. But we are getting ready to go dirt car racing live from Lernerville. Who's ready to sling some dirt with some B mods? Ben Morrow and Michael Steele have the fastest laps in practice. We're going to get ready to kick off our heat races here in just a second. All right, heat race number one is on deck. Let's check out our starting lineup. On the front row, Mr. 75, Ben Morrow. Outside of him, we got newcomer Brayton Fieldman, Friedman. Row number two, we got Mr. Devin Smith and Ryan Rubelman. Row number three, Matthew Setzer and Steven Fernberg. All right, track temperature is 70 degrees. It's going to be a great night of racing here in Lernerville. Ben Marl is going to lead us to green coming out of turn number four. on the outside of him. Green flag is in the air. Ben Morrow is fast at this track, but I haven't seen him launch this thing off the corner about 10 times already. Rubelman and Smith side by side as we head down into turn number three. Smith all the way down at the bottom. Hard sends. Ben Morrow working that high line, holding on to the lead currently. That high line has got the power laying down. Devin Smith battling back on the inside. The 29 of Fernberg hard charging. Ben Morrow got a little bit of a lead now. Looks like my overlay has frozen currently. We'll get that back up and running here in just a minute. Ben Morrow continues to lead. Devin Smith in second. Matthew Setzer in third. Rubelman in fourth. Steven Fernberg in fifth. Bye -bye. 
see the four car down low. He is a newcomer to the EFRL. Not a whole lot of practice in these cars. Looks like we got three laps to go. Devin Smith trying to reel back in that number 75 machine. He's going to run out of laps, I think, before we get there. The top of that track starting to slick off. Last lap, white flag lap. Devin Smith sends it down low, can't quite complete the pass. One more corner for the 75 machine. Ben Marl's gonna go flag to flag, he's gonna take it home. Devin Smith in second, Steve Fernberg in third. Top three cars do get points for the heat races. Ray Dunlop is opting for an end of longest line. So, starting on the front row, it's going to be Marcus Swedek and Ray Andrews. Row number two is going to be Steve Lindau and Dakota Proud. And row number three is going to be Ray Dunlop and Michael Steele. Marcus Swedek, a past champion. Michael Steele, Steve Lindbergh, all past champions. Sorry, Steve Lindau, all past champions here in the EFRL Dirt Car Series. Gonna get a green flag next time by. All bunched up, coming out of turn number four. Green flag is in the air for Lindau and Andrews. Andrews on that preferred high line, but Swadek sends it down in there hard. He's gonna come out with the lead, coming out of turn number two. Drag race down the back straight away for second place. Andrews slides up high in front of the 19. Steve Lindau trying to make that low line work. Andrews goes from high to low. Gets a good run on the 43 down the back straightaway. Lindell's going to have that preferred line coming out of turn number four. Michael Steele trying to make something happen down low. We're going to be three wide as Steele sends it into turns one and two. Steele, power move down the back straightaway. Lindell and Swadek battling side by side for the lead up front. Cars have gotten kind of nose to tail. Kind of smoothed out for a little bit here. Jump back up front and see how that battle is brewing. Right on that cushion, letting it all hang out. Jumping on board with the 118 machine of Swatic.
see him working that wheel, working that throttle, gets right close to the wall, going down the front straightaway. We got three laps to go. Steve Lindau right there, looking to make a move. Two laps to go. Lindau throws it in there deep. Swadek going to make a mistake. Lindau going to be able to get the move. We got one lap to go. Ooh, Lindau catches the wall with the right rear. Slows him up just a little bit. Ooh, Dakota Proud goes off the track. That's going to hand third place over to Michael Steele. Looks like it's going to be Swadek, Lindau, and Steele. Top three cars for heat race number two. All right, we're gonna have a three minute warm up and then we'll get to our A main. Oh, Michael Steele goes up and over into the outside wall during the warm-up. Hopefully he'll get that number five machine straightened back out. Ooh, Ben Morrow sends it hard over the cushion into turn four. This track is going to be slick by the end of these 50 laps, folks. We're going to separate the men from the boys tonight. If you are tuned in, make sure you give a like, follow, or subscribe, depending on which platform you're watching on. Uh, give us a shout out in the chat. Let us know you're watching. Let us know who you're cheering for. Also, check out Foster's Custom Rods. Uh, that guy makes some amazing fishing poles for ice fishing, regular fishing, whatever you need. He can make it. Makes them pretty too. You need a rod for that brother, father in your life, for their birthday, whatever. Check out Foster's Custom Rod. Alan Foster on Facebook. Also, if you're looking for some cool uh, EFRL merch, check out the link in the show description. We got some t-shirts from our past champions in there, some pretty cool stuff. Falcon Graphics has done all the, all the designs for it. Hey, Dan, how you doing, buddy? You know, you, didn't do, you don't do too bad at the dirt cars on Monday night. You have to come out and uh, run with us a time or two here. Alright, checker flag in the air. Hot laps are over. We're going to be going green flag racing for our A main here in just a minute, folks. Starting on the front row, we got our heat race winners, Ben Morrow, Marcus Swadek. Row number two, Devin Smith and defending champion. <laughs> defending champion, Steve Lindell. Some of the drivers are talking, there might be some sprinkles in the air. Row number three, we got Steven Fernberg, Michael Steele. Row number four, Matthew Setzer and Dakota Proud. 
Row number five, Ryan Rubelman and Ray Andrews. Row number six, we got Brayton Friedman and Ray Raymond Dunlap. Uh, we are missing a couple guys tonight. The 127 machine is sick and under the weather, unable to make the show tonight. And then Travis Lapanis in the number 16 machine uh, has to take last place points. He had a storm rolling in. He wasn't getting able to make the race tonight as well. If you are looking for a wrap, we got a couple options for you. Check out Michael Steele Graphics Designs. He can do real wraps now. He just got himself a printer and a laminator. He can hook you up with real wraps or a race car wrap for iRacing. Uh, check out Falcon Graphics. Uh, they can hook you up with a design. Mr. Ben Dan Park here can uh, contest to that. Uh, if you're looking for a place to place to race, check out the Extreme Forces Racing League on Facebook. Get a hold of Mick Olofsson and or Dean Qualley. We got racing three nights a week. We can feed your addiction. All right, cars are getting ready to go green. Pace car just dipped off. Green flag is in the air. Swatic gets a good charge on the outside. Dives down to the bottom going on to turn number one. We're three wide for third place. Devin Smith making a move on the inside for that second place. <laughs> oh, I know you are, Dan. These guys are going hard at it early on in this thing, door to door. Michael Steele hard charging, trying to steal away second. Oh, gets tagged. All right, you guys can see how they're lining up. We call this the Delaware style restart. The 18 machine is going to be on point. Devin Smith in second gets the lane choice. He's choosing the inside row. Steve Lindell is going to take the high side, and then everybody else is going to line up where iRacing tells them to. And that's the way we're going to refire this. This thing. caution laps do not count for dirt races. As you'll see the ticker, we do only have enough fuel to run about 55 laps wide open. Um, we should be good to go unless we get a lot of green white checkers at the end. Going green, coming out of turn number four. Swat of cameras down, coming out of turn number four. Devin. What track is that, Dan? Swatik and Smith leading this thing after we went back green flag. Lindell moved all the way down to the bottom. Dakota Proud taking over third place. Lindell trying hard to get that bottom groove tuned in.
See the different lines these guys are on coming right at us. Oh, Devin Smith's going to jump that berm in turn number two. That's going to cost him several positions. Dakota Proud going to take over second place. Steve Lindau trying to make a move on the 19 machine of Proud. Michael Steele after getting caught up and spun after catching the berm early on. He's got a long way to go. Uh, was running very strong. Now he's got to come all the way back from last. He has moved up to ninth already. Hey John, how you doing buddy? Thanks for jumping in. Marcus Swadek continuing to lead. About to catch the lap car of Matthew Setzer. Marcus Swadek running down low is making that 118 machine hook up. Runs high in three and four, low in one and two. Interesting lines we got for these guys. Ben Morrow, after starting on the point, has dropped three positions. We'll see if he's able to recover and work his way back up to the front. Steven Fernberg currently running in our top five in that number 29 machine. Battle heating up for a second. Steve Lindau down low. Dakota Proud up high. About to catch Matthew Setzer in that number three machine. Have to navigate around the lap cars, which makes it very challenging. Oh, Matthew holds it down low, moves out of the way for the leaders. Good job, Matthew. Michael Steele back up another place. He is back up to 8th now. We'll continue to keep an eye on him as we watch this battle for 2nd place heating up. Lindau doing everything he can, trying to get that bottom line working. has placed that right rear on the cushion through three and four he hooks up down low 19 car in one and two jump on board with the 43 machine of Lindell He is right there on the back bumper of that 19 machine. We got a car sideways in turns one and two. Caution is out. Ray Dunlap.
We did see Michael Steele go into the pits. Might have had a little bit of damage he wanted to repair. We're going to go green coming out of turn number four. Linda does a slide job on the 19 of Dakota Brown taking over second place. Michael Steele back in the thick of it. Three wide, currently battling for sixth. Michael gets a, launched it out of turn number two. Oh, math there. Ben Marl went off the track in turn number four. Caution is out. That just jumps the berm. Doesn't hit anything, yeah, maybe a little one. All right, Michael Steele up to fifth place. Has a great run going. Let's see if he's able to keep the momentum once the green flag flies. All right, pace cars going off. We're going to go green flag. Got to turn number four. Swatik is on that loud pedal. Huh? All right, bud. Steve Lindell still holding on to second. Michael Steele trying to power his way down on the bottom one more time. Steele is up to fourth. He's got to move on, on Dakota Proud, taking over third. Steele has found some grip down the bottom, getting a great launch coming up out of the corner. You just see him pick up and go. Got 18 laps to try to catch the leaders, though. I think we can do something with that, Dan. Michael Steele is gaining on the 43 machine of Steven Lindell. Marcus Swadek 
trying to hit his mark, stay up front. Oh, we got one off in corner number two. Swatic is just ripping that cushion. See the differences in the line that Michael Steele is running. It looks like his his advantage might have worn off. Maybe that bottom is tacked up a little bit. He is not getting the same kind of runs he was. He's actually starting to fall back a little bit now. Might be falling back into the clutches of Dakota Proud soon. Ben Marl is recovered. He's back up to sixth place. Ooh, caution is in the air. It's like Steve Fernberg has crashed. Yep, got sideways, and when you come to a stall there, that iRacing still thinks you're on the racing surface, and it throws a caution for it. All right, we're only gonna have about 12 laps to go when we go green flag racing. All right, so the 43 has opted to take the bottom line, so that's gonna put Michael Steele on the high side. Being on the bottom worked good for him for the last restart. We'll see what happens this time. Going green, coming out of turn number four. Michael Steele, side by side with the 43 of Lindell. Got that left front tire in the grass. Looks like it's helping him making him turn. He's going to get a good jump of his power going down the back straightaway. Going into turn number three, he had the advantage over the 43. At the line, though, Stephen Fernberg, uh, Stephen Lindau holds on to second place. Ten laps to go for Marcus Swadek, but the battle right now is for second place. Michael Steele and Steven Lindell battling side by side as they end through, through one and two. Watch the speed Michael gets going down that back straightaway. Only two tenths separate these two at the start and finish line. Lindell was better that time through one, uh, one and two. We'll see if Michael can make up some time through three and four. No, he does not. He's actually falling way back on that lap. Lindo's putting that thing right on the lip and letting her rip. Swadek, he's down running the bottom line now. 
Dakota Proud in fourth, Ben Morrow in fifth, Ryan Rubelman in sixth. Five laps to go. Michael Steele falling back a little bit. Rubelman down low in that 47 machine trying to get a run on the 75. Three laps to go for Marcus Swatic up front. Steve Lindau in second. Steve Lindau has closed up some on the 18 machine. Going to be getting the white flag this time by. Lindau full sends. Makes contact and both hold on to it. Drag race to the line. Oh! Maybe a half a car length separate him as Swag holds on to the lead. Yes, sir. That was a great finish. A couple drivers not super happy about how slick the track got tonight, but sometimes that happens. All right, we got our drivers up in the booth. We're going to go ahead and start with our interviews. Mr. Michael Steele, bringing that number five back all the way to third place tonight. Holy cow. Yeah, that was a bit of a drive. You got the berm early, then got tagged from behind. Um, had to go all the way to the back. You must have had some damage that you fixed. Uh, well, on that restart, I got above the four slash whatever number his, he was in the SAM car. Um, I think he was supposed to start on the inside and he started on the outside and I don't I don't really know but then like right as we went green he cut down to the bottom so I try to go um up around him and he just turned right and turned me into the fence along with himself so yeah I had to go try to fix some damage but uh I had like three minutes of damage and only got like four seconds fixed so uh, yeah I came back through and had quite a bit of damage but had enough to get back rear in the podium at least um, a pretty impressive pass on that one restart. I think you passed four cars in that one corner. Yeah, just like I was talking to Steven, like the bottom was super fast on restarts, but then after that, you just had to go to the top side. And um, I tried it. I just, I don't know. I felt like I was just spinning my wheels, especially not having to drive off. It just, it wasn't going to work out very good for me. That was one thing I noticed after I take the, took that hit to the front was I just, had no power coming off the corner, so I had to get down in the moisture just to get something. 
I tell you, there was a couple times we were watching you and Steven, and when you would go down the back straightaway, all of a sudden it looked like you hit a NOS button because your car would just pick up and go. Yeah, if you, I mean, if, on exit, if you just keep it down in the moisture, you don't always have to go all the way up to the wall like everybody wants to. You keep it down in the moisture, and there's a lot of grip about just hugging it to the inside lane the whole way around. So it's a little bit uh, unorthodox looking and kind of violent getting into the corners and can get kind of sketchy, but there's, if you do that, there's a lot of grip down there. Oh, I don't know. I was pretty impressed with how you ran tonight. Um, I know I'm sure that it was frustrating for you, but man, you battled back and definitely redeemed it. Yeah, I appreciate it. I'm, um, I have to apologize for the F-bomb earlier, but I mean, just hate the moment and probably have a bigger mouth than I should have. Um, but yeah, it was fun driving back through. I felt like, I mean, I didn't go anywhere for like the first like half of the race. And then finally that restart. I really needed that just to kind of get bunched back up and figured out that I actually had some speed still. Yes, sir. is that Vivian's footprint on the on your uh, by your steering wheel of your car? Yeah, so that was a th like something I always had Marcy's heart on my car, and then whenever we found out she was pregnant, I did that uh, as kind of like a, if you paid attention to any friends or family or watch, they could have got a sneak peek to the fact that she was a girl. Um, we never announced it for a while, but I always had that pink footprint that could easily be seen if you just watch me race. That's pretty cool, bud. Yeah, so now just got to keep it on there. All right, well, congratulations on the podium finish. That definitely uh, helped you in the point standings. Yeah, I'm still kind of falling behind Steven, but long season. I wasn't even sure I was going to make it tonight with trying to get the printer and everything going, but cut out. A little cool number out of some float orange to go on uh, Austin Taylor's car that I raced with us on Tuesday night and ready to get some projects pumped out. That's awesome, buddy. Congratulations on that. Um, I'm looking forward to watching all the stuff that you do. Yep, I appreciate it, buddy. I actually need to message you because I looked at your PDF and I have a little bit of an issue with some pixels and stuff that we need to look at. But yeah, can't wait to get all get you uh, your RC wrap or RC car wrapped up and. Hopefully get a bunch of cars wrapped up. All right, buddy. Well, congratulations. I know who you want to thank tonight, but let's go ahead and make it official. Yeah, as always, Marcy and Vivi for rooting me on. She's looking at me and staring at me. Vivi's already asleep. Um, <laughs> you for putting this on. Marcus, all the teammates that supports me and helps me. Um, all my sponsors and parents for always watching. And yeah, on to next week. All right, buddy. We'll see you back next week. Yes, sir. Have a good one, buddy. You too. All right, bringing home that machine in second place tonight. Had quite a battle with Michael Steele and then almost caught the leader there at the end. Almost caught him in a bad way. But uh, overall, a great race for the number 43 machine. How's it going, Mick? I'm doing great, buddy. Oh, uh, yeah. It was, uh, it was a good race. Um had a couple good battles throughout with different people uh got a little sketchy there at the beginning especially uh when we had that first caution um i wasn't sure i was debating on pitting it ended up giving me wheel damage but i decided to stay out there since i was in third and figured i'd at least give it a shot looking back i'm happy i did it didn't seem like it affected the car too much so um was able to stay up front there and then uh ended up letting Dakota passed me there for a little while, I think on a restart, if I remember correctly, and uh, then I was battling him, trying to, I sat behind him there for a little while, trying to save some tire to, to, for towards the end, and then um, I think I used up a decent amount trying to get around him, and then uh, ended up getting him on a restart, and was l luckily able to stay in front of him from there. Michael Steele did everything he possibly could to try to get you. Yeah, I was, when that, I don't know what caution it was, uh, like second to last, I think it was, it come out with like 12 to go or something, and uh, I looked back at the standings, and it said that I had a 3.7 lead on Michael, and I was worried when that caution came out uh, that he'd be able to get me. I wasn't sure how much tire he had used trying to uh, get up back up through the field there. Um, but luckily I was able to get a real good restart there on the bottom and then uh, get to the top 
and then just kind of rode around the top there. So that last uh, that last lap, going into turns one and two, you went full send down on the bottom. You did slide up and made a little bit of contact with the 18, but you guys were both able to keep it straight. Yeah, I uh, I went to go. We were both running top, so last lap I figured I'll try to throw like a mild slider, which I was too far back to throw a full slider, so I was just going to let it slide up into the middle. And uh, I didn't know he came down that he ran the middle that lap through the turn one and two. So unfortunately, I was got up into him a little bit. Um, I completely let out of it once we did. I was hoping that it wouldn't mess up the finish because I don't want to win like that. So I'm more than happy finishing second. Yes, sir. Um, I actually was pretty impressed with that drive you had coming out of turn number four on that same lap. Man, I you were maybe a half a car length away from getting him on the front straight away. Yeah, I was. Uh, I didn't know how it was gonna go, but yeah, I let him get going again out of two before I really got going too, because I just, like I said, I didn't want to that to affect our finish. Um, and then I was, I don't, I was kind of surprised he ended up taking the middle into three and four as well. But yeah, I got a suit. I was surprised when I could hear him down and below me and couldn't actually see him. But it was definitely a close finish, that's for sure. Yes, sir. Well, congratulations. You kept that 43 machine hooked up on that high side right on that berm. Nice racing all night long. Who would you like to give a shout-out to tonight? Uh, give you a shout-out for doing the broadcast and the league. Um, everyone else that puts time and effort into the league to put these races on. Um, everyone that shows up week in and week out to create this good, fun racing that we have. Um, and clean racing, minimal cautions every week, which is nice, makes it a lot more fun. Um, and then I got to th give my team a thank over at American Dirt Motorsports. Uh, and then all of our sponsors that help us out with everything as well. All right, buddy. Well, congratulations. We look forward to seeing you back next week in the late models. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mick. Marcus Swedek, the 118 machine, getting it done here in Lernerville. Yes, sir. That car was hooked up and fast. Yeah, it was, the track was definitely a lot slicker in my liking, but we made it at work, and I don't know, we got pretty lucky there. Yeah, that last lap got real hairy. Yeah, I, I was protecting the slider, and then... Uh, I just felt car coming at me, and oh well, it still got it done. Yeah, he felt pretty bad about it. He was happy that you guys were both able to keep going straight. He let off and let you get regain yourself before he got back in the gas. Real respectable. Yeah, it, was definitely, it was definitely close. I felt the car wanting to go, but I just let off and hit the brakes and hit the gas and somehow saved it. So on that last lap, going into turns three, you kind of ran the middle instead of up on the cushion where you had been running. Uh, the 43 hammered down on that outside line. He almost got around you coming to the line. Yeah, I, I just wanted to protect it, and I didn't really know 100% where he was going to be, so I wanted to try and take up the most track, I guess. Well, it made for an awesome finish. You guys put on a great race all night. I know you kind of set sail and didn't get challenged a whole lot, but, man, the battles behind you were crazy. Yeah, it was probably definitely fun to watch uh, with this track being as slick as it is. is. Um, I mean, the fast lane for me was around the bottom, but I know there for, like, the last five laps or whatever, Steven was cooking on the top. Yeah, I know Michael, I think on one restart, gained four positions down on that bottom groove. That's a lot of cars to pass in one corner. <laughs> it sure was. It was pretty cool to watch. One thing Absolutely. I, one thing I noticed about your lines, like you'd run high in turns three and four, and then one and two, you'd run way down low, almost touching the grass. Yeah, I probably have some grass sticking off the lower, but that's all right. Uh, the car looked good tonight, and you looked awesome driving it, bud. Congratulations on the win. Thank you. Feels good to park it in victory lane after a nice vacation. 
Yeah, buddy. Well, we look forward to seeing you back next week in the Pro Late Models. Anybody you'd like to give a shout-out to tonight? Uh, you guys for putting it on. Michael for doing the wraps and helping. Um, Jason for watching. I know he couldn't make it tonight. He's got to work here coming up. So, yeah, that's about it. All right, buddy. Well, we'll look forward to seeing you back next week. And uh, take care and get that real car ready to go. It's ready to go. Awesome. We're just waiting on the snow to stop. Yeah, um, we're supposed to get a ton this weekend. Hopefully it misses us, but we're supposed to get anywhere from 8 to 14 inches. Jeepers, you guys are getting a little more than we are. We're getting, I think, 5 to five to 8, I think, is the last they said. This time of year, any of it's too much. Yep, I agree <laughs> with you. All right, bud. We'll catch you later. Sounds good. Thank you, sir. Yep. Heck of a battle right to the finish. Um, can't wait to see these guys put on the show next week with the Pro Late Models. Let's go back and take a look at that finish one more time. Half a car length, and that's all it was between the two of them. Great racing, guys. Look forward to seeing us back next week. Uh, Tuesday night, we are going to finish off our Falcon Graphics Associated Short Track Tour with the late model stock cars, uh, so come check us out there. We've wrapped up our Monday night uh, retro series, but we're going to be starting a new one here. Uh, updated the league name to the Rusty Redneck Series Street Stocks. Uh, so check us out there. It's so kind of a rookie series if you're looking for a place to race. We're accepting drivers. All right, thanks everybody for watching. You have a wonderful night.